guys, I'm Andrei Sukurik. I have this question uh, asked a lot. How much money can I actually make in real estate and how do you get started? Today I wanna share with you basic numbers. You can prepare your business plan and understand what will be your gross profit, what will be net profit, how much marketing dollars you need to spend, and you can have a clear idea about the numbers and make a decision is flipping right for you or not. Let's start with the end in mind. This is Stephen Kavi line. He said, if you want to do something, you need to realize what will be your final destination? What kind of result you wanna have? We've been doing tons of trainings, seminars. I've been running Midwest Real Estate Investment Association. And usually new people, they really wanna understand the numbers. How much money do I need? How much money can I make? Today I wanna share with you exact numbers and step-by-step -step process you can build your business plan on. Let's start with the end in mind. Example, let's assume you wanna make $320,000 in gross profit. $320,000, it will be as a result of flipping eight homes. Average profit, average gross profit is about $40,000. So you take $40,000, multiply by eight, you're going to make $320,000. However, this is your gross profit, not the net profit. In order to generate $320,000, you would need to spend marketing expense. And with the marketing, you can either invest your time, start making calls, start looking at uh, Craigslist ads, Facebook, uh, for sale by owners, start making calls to realtors. I done it myself and it generated some results. However, time is limited. I would much better prefer to generate leads. A lot of guys failing real estate because they just simply don't get enough leads. Let me tell you about the process how you can estimate how much leads you need. On average, if your gross profit is about $40,000, your marketing expense will be somewhere between eight to $15,000. And each lead will cost you about $1,000 to $2,000 based on your different sources, based on your mix and match. If you wanna make $320,000, and to generate eight leads, if each deal costs you $10,000, your budget, your marketing budget, should be about $80,000. You need to have cash invested into your business. And a lot of guys try to get into real estate business, they spend $1,000 or $2,000, it doesn't work. The reason why, because you need on average about seven to eight leads in order to get deals. And sometimes what happens, you generate seven leads, no closings. Then you have 14 leads, no closing. And then on the lead number 21, you get three closings in a row. So you need to be patient and trust the process and understand what your metrics, what are your metrics and what are the KPIs that you need to target on. Okay, let's go back to the process. If it takes you $10,000 to get a lead, each deal costs you about $1,000 to $1,500. So you need to generate about eight leads to close one deal. So your marketing budget should be about $80,000. You generate leads uh, and then you have to close those leads. You have to have good sales skills, understand how to close a deal, how to proper follow up. But uh, what we see, if you have a stabilized business and the target like for our business is to generate four to five X of marketing money spent. However, if you newbie, if you new market, the numbers can be completely lower. Like even one to two, I see people, they put $1 in, they get $2 out. So let's, in this example, if you wanna close eight deals and generate $320,000, then you have to subtract your marketing expense. Let's say $80,000 to generate eight leads. Uh, so your net will be uh, $240,000. That's about what I see new investors making. If you flip eight, eight, eight homes a year, you can make about $250,000 on average. Plus also you're going to have additional expenses. If you have an assistant, if you have a, a disposition manager, and or maybe later you wanna have uh, acquisition manager. In our organization, like we've done over uh, 3,000 homes, 
we our target to do somewhere between three to four hundred homes per year in free markets. Our organization consists of many other departments, like we have marketing department, acquisition, uh, construction, disposition, finance, HR. Those expenses add up, and this math doesn't work because you have a lot of GNA expenses, you have uh, legal expenses, and if you're a solar entrepreneur, this number should work for you. And this is a plan to make $250,000. Besides $200,000 or $250,000 marketing expense, you also need to consider that you would need to have money to close on your deal. Because on average, what we see between hard money and banks, they're asking you 10 to 20% down payment. Plus, you will need to have holding costs and interest expenses. Uh, if you want to make $250,000, you need to have somewhere about $250,000 of available cash. It shouldn't be your cash. You can use friends and family, you can leverage your 401k, you can use credit cards and get that cash. But in order to start doing business, generate marketing, generate leads. This is number one reason why people fail, because they don't produce enough leads, they don't have adequate budget for their marketing, and then they quit because they try to force someone to sell a house and start talking to people who will not absolutely value or get any benefits from working with you. Uh, example, if you get seven leads, out of seven, you will close probably one. I have six leads, will be not the best option for them to sell a house for cash. Because cash sales, it's simple, it's uh, stress-free for people, but people get a discount. Uh, and there is data, like we, we see the numbers across the country, average closing rate, it's about uh, 12 to 17% or seven to eight leads it requires to close on, uh, on a deal. In conclusion, if you wanna make $250,000 net income from your, uh, from your real estate flip. You should generate about $320,000 in gross profit, spend about $80,000 on marketing expense, average profit per deal somewhere about $40,000, and it will take you eight to $12,000 in marketing expense to generate lead. And it can be a real good uh, alternative if you have a W-2 job or if you have a, a job that pays you really well but you always stress out, you miss your family dinners, you miss your vacations, you miss your uh, kids basketball game, real estate investing can be a good alternative. Yeah, I'd love to tell you more about the marketing channels that performs the best. And I'm going to record the next video where you can understand where to spend your money. Uh, what what's the ROI per marketing channel? We invest a lot in direct mail, Google pay-per-click, Bing, Facebook. You've probably seen our billboards around town and watch our TV commercials and radio. Like we have every single marketing channel and I'm going to reveal exactly the numbers, the ROIs, what we having and what you can apply to your business in a separate video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want someone to help you to scale your fix and flip business from 50, 100 properties a year to 400 properties per year, send me an email. Would love to work with you. Also, if, you have, if you're a wholesaler and you have a property to wholesale in three states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Florida, send me an email. Would love to make a cash offer and help you to cash out. Stay tuned. Watch for next video where I'm going to talk about marketing, exactly what we're doing, and subscribe to be aware of about new videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to work with someone who can help you to scale up your business and grow the business from 50 to 500 or 400 deals, send me an email. Would love to work with you.